So how much should you really charge for your online video courses? How do you think about these things and how does it make sense to your customers? I'm going to give you some thoughts in this episode. All right, so if you're trying to figure out the pricing area for your online video course that you're creating, there's a lot of things to consider. And nevertheless, you're always going to be playing with pricing or trying to figure out pricing. Sometimes you'll want to aim to price a little higher, sometimes a little bit lower. But really, there's a handful of things that you really need to consider and think about as you're pricing out your products. So the first thing you have to recognize is that really uh, pricing is really just market dependent. So if you're really aiming for uh, you know, pricing in a piano lesson or teaching people how to fish or how to invest your money, they're all different. So somebody that's teaching piano lessons may not be able to charge the same as somebody who's teaching how to do investing or how to go in and do accounting. So it's all market dependent and you have to take that into account. For example, if you take a look at uh, my courses here, so here I have my backstage income courses, this pin designer course, I mean, just take a look at it. We're just recently launching it right now and this course is pretty much uh, when you look at the price it's $97 and you got all these videos all these videos in there and you've got all these bonuses and it's still $97 right when you compare it to my investment courses so here is our the investment courses that I have so take a look at this course right here and you can see this is uh, just a single strategy and this course it is 33 videos 19 hours long and it's a $500 video course so it's really just depends on the market itself right a designing course on Pinterest pins those people might not have enough cash flow, just the industry itself, they're charging cheaper rates. You might not be able to charge $500 for a course like that. Um, if you pack enough bonuses, you do other things, it may be possible. But in general, it is market dependent and something you have to take into account as you're looking at pricing your uh, products and services. Okay, let's look at uh, tip number two here, and that is to constantly be looking for charging higher prices. Aim for higher prices as this gives you more flexibility, it gives you working capital, and it avoids price judgments, and you also need less clients, which means you'll be able to help those other clients much more so. So a lot of people worry about charging more. Instead, they try and charge less because they, for them it might be easy, but in either case, prices typically go down from the business owner's mindset. But what you really want to do is levitate them or raise them up much more so. And that is because even if you've got the same amount of clients, let's say you just raised your prices and you got the same number of clients, well, you win because you make more money. If you've got um, uh, more clients, why would they more clients come to you? Well, it's because they perceive that product to be even better. So maybe you get more sales from raising your prices. So that's also a win. And what about if sales drop? Well, if sales do drop because you raised your prices, if they only drop a little bit, right, the amount you're charging, you're charging more anyway, might offset that problem. So you might be exactly where you were as far as the amount of transactions or the amount of money you're making, but you have to deal with less clients, less technical support, less people get uh, the product with issues or errors, maybe again, resetting passwords and that kind of thing, which means less uh, energy from your team. Uh, obviously, you want to help out as many people as possible. But my point is, is, is that you'll be able to focus more in on the people that really do need the help because you'll need to deal with less people. So anyways, that's where higher prices can actually be a huge, huge benefit. And remember, having less people is not a bad thing because our main goal is getting to your 100 customers or getting to 1,000 customers uh, because there can only be a handful of top five, let's say, YouTube channels in your niche or top five companies in your market. Um, you don't have to be one of them. I mean, of course, it's nice to be one of them, but you don't have to be the top five in your industry because if you're charging more, for your products and services you just need a handful or basket of clients now i'm not saying 100 is going to get you to where you want it might be 345 but the point is, is is that if you're able to charge higher prices you just need less customers whereas if you're selling some simple little erasers or you're selling little cords or wires that are two bucks a pop you know you might need 50,000 100,000 sales because you're making a margin of you know 50 cents 20 cents here 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 and you got to sell a lot of them Whereas if you're charging $200, $500, $1,000 and you're making good margins on that, uh, then in that case, you'll just be way better off. So you don't need as many customers as you may think you need. So that's where we're looking at, you know, your 100 customers uh, or 200 customers because being the best or being the number one in your space, it's, it is difficult. It's possible, but it is difficult. 
Anyway, the other thing to think about as far as pricing goes is that the free content you have, even though it's free, it has some value. It's other things that you've produced, so it allows you to actually charge more because of the value you've already given. Because when you give value, people now perceive you as being a little bit more positive in their mind. You're a little bit more better. You're watching out for their best interest, sort of say. And um, when you've done that, you're able to charge a little bit more because it does have some some power behind it. It's kind of like giving a bonus to your video course. And uh, when you go out and give that these extra bonuses, these freebies, these video content pieces that you're watching, that allows people to say, hey, yeah, it's worthwhile. I've gotten so much value out of uh, that channel, that video, uh, the content that's been produced that, yeah, I'm willing to spend a little bit more because it's it's perceived as much better in their mindset. So anyways, I hope this helps for you to price your product a little bit better when it comes to your video courses. Um, yes, you have to play with the market. You have to play with the industry, but you don't want to keep looking at, hey, I want to keep lowering my prices, lowering my prices. That might be good at the beginning, but remember, people will have those price judgments. They're going to wonder, hey, maybe that product price is too low, and if it's too low, it's probably not that good. So you got to find some medium area, and if you could charge just a little bit more, then that allows you to really make up some margins and you know cater less to customer support or issues or anything like that. So just raising and bumping that price a little bit can be great. Remember, you're just aiming for maybe a couple hundred people right away to start. Um, you're not trying to get 50,000 orders because your margins aren't going to be that small. If they're only 20 cent margins, yeah, you need 100,000 sales. But if you're, you know, got a $200 video course, if you got a $500 video course or products or services or coaching programs, then in that case, it's just, you'll be way better off. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Feel free to check out our website where I have tons of great freebies and downloads that you could uh, take a look at and uh, absolutely free. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos. If you're joining us on the podcast, feel free to watch us on YouTube or on our website at backstageincome.com so that way you can get the visual aspect of this video. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.